What's up guys, it's me your badass host David and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Y2 walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode we got introduced to Pokemon Y2 and we left off right here on the selection of what starter Pokemon I want to start with in Pokemon Y2. As you remember, remember in Pokemon Black I got myself Oshawa as my starter. As Draven XC711 and Unova Red, we got Tepig, so it's only obvious for us to actually get ourselves a Snivy right here. So yeah, guys, I'm gonna start off with Snivy because I have never used this Pokemon before in any walkthrough. Maybe when I was Pokemon when I was Draven XC711, I think. Can't really remember. So yes, we got ourselves Snivy, and I do have the perfect nickname for this Pokemon. Now, if you watch Pokemon Black or Pokemon Unova Red, you guys already know what I nicknamed the, the Snivy that I got. Yes, guys, we're going with the Harry Potter themed uh, nickname right here. We're going to be calling this guy Basilisk because, well, it's a snake. It literally turns into a snake while, while it's fully evolved. So here we are with Basilisk, and, well, Bianca's going to be like, well, here's your Pokedex as well. We get ourselves a new Pokedex, that's awesome. And well, let's see, it automatically records the Pokemon that you encountered. We want to see every Pokemon in the Unova region since, well, there's new Pokemon in the Unova region. Yeah, that's kind of a big thing. So, my question is this, how did that happen? So here's a Basilisk, grass type Pokemon, pretty fast, special attack sucks. But it, go, it does have the Overgrow ability. Now, it only has Tackle and Leer right now. So, we can work with that, guys. We can. We're the greatest trainer ever. And so, once we're done selecting the Pokemon, Hugh is just wondering what kind of Pokemon we chose. And he's like, that's your partner. That's great. My partner, Pokemon, da-da-da-da-da. And, well, Bianca's like, it's a Pokedex. Doesn't even know what a Pokedex is. But he actually wants one, too. Because he wants to go out and get stronger, and he wants to learn more about Pokemon. Although he does have some kind of underlying uh, method, or not method, but uh, reasoning behind this whole thing. So, she didn't know what to do, but okay, she'll give him another Pokedex. Just so, uh, yeah. <laughs> She's talking about two years ago when she went on her first adventure with both me and uh, Chiran and all that crud. So, alrighty. Oh crud, and uh, yeah, he wants to battle us, and... Apparently he hatched a Tapic from an egg, so whatever Pokemon you choose, he's gonna choose the one that with the advantage over him. So here we go with our first battle against Hugh, and he is coming out with Tepic. Now he is our true rival right here because he does select the Pokemon who's strongest to us. This is going to be a challenge in, uh, in all of it. So we're gonna go with a Tackle Attack, and well, yeah, Tepic going with a tap Tackle Attack there too, look at that, yes. Okay, so let's see, here we go, Tackle Attack. How, this is how we all start, guys. And there is a Tail Whip. You gotta love that stuff. And, well, let's go with another uh, Tackle Attack for the win. That's right, critical hit. How does it feel to fail? Not so good. I do love the music that we that, that's playing right here. And because of that, Basilix grows to level 6. Yeah, buddy. Okay, alrighty, look at that. Level 6, oh my god beating Pokemon like a big dog and almost grows to level 7 right there and well he is frustrated and well let's see after that battle he's like it's different while battling the wild Pokemon and he is going to get stronger which is a good a good thing because finally a Pokemon trainer that doesn't talk shit to us but wants to get stronger than us that's actually pretty cool so anywho after defeating you or your rival however you named him, uh, Bianca is going to give you a tour of what you can actually find in Unova, like the Pokemon Center. As you guys already know, the Pokemon Center in Unova actually has both a Pokemon Center and a Pokemon. So we're going to be healing up our Pokemon right here. Yeah. Now, I remember a few years ago when I first started Pokemon White 2, I think, as Draven XC711, I had high hopes of just finishing this whole thing. But it, again... I didn't really know what I was doing. I never really completed Pokemon Black. And uh, yeah, that made me uh, delete the whole thing and never ever go back to it ever again. But now that we actually have like a proper schedule and I know how to maintain many of the things right here, we're gonna be fine guys. We're gonna we're gonna be seeing the this walkthrough uh, we're gonna be seeing this walkthrough through right here. And well she gives us some Pokeballs, which is great. Because we need to capture some Pokemon. And well, Let's see, before we do anything, yeah, right now we're only going to get five potions because 
you can never be too sure right here and well let's go ahead and walk out and well Bianca's still waiting for us right here and would you look at that two more kids it's my mom and a kid okay so my mom is telling us oh I almost forgot she's gonna give us some shoes yes we're gonna get some running shoes this is great I can run I love running not really but I love running here in this game and we're yeah press the B button so we can go anywhere to our heart's content including Snive you can run wherever you want and well let's see Hugh's sister this is from me and she is going to give us a diary I think a town map <laughs> yes a town map of this whole place and uh, well we got to give yeah we got to give one town map to Hugh as well because he obviously forgot to get one and now we're gonna have to go into the next route in order to learn how to capture Pokemon because yeah we haven't been doing this for about 10 years or so okay so let's go ahead and run towards route 8 and find our girl or not route 8 but our, let's go find our girlfriend seriously every girl here is our girlfriend and would you look at that Draven you can't without oh you're Snivy okay so don't be shy take it she will actually give you a potion which is great and I think we're going into route 19 I think that's what it was called I don't know Ah, oh, look at that big ranch with a lot of Pokemon oh, I wonder what kind of ranch is it I don't know okay so let's go right here and here is Bianca right in front of us and she's like hey this way this kind of reminds me of Route 1. So here's how it works. Pokedex automatically fills up because, you know, you see a Pokemon, you try and capture a Pokemon, and we're going to be starting right now on how to capture a Pokemon. And as you can see, Bianca's uh, showing us the ropes right here because, well, we don't know how to capture Pokemon. And there she is, doing it like a pro, and she's got herself a Lillipup with a level 5. My Lillipup was a little stronger. It evolved into Stoutland from Scotland. Yeah, that guy right there. Now, I, yeah, okay, so I think there is a way you can actually get your Pokemon from Pokemon Black or White to get into this game. I'm going to try and figure that out, but if I can't, if I can't do that in here, then, well, it's not like I can't capture these guys all over again, except for, uh, what was it, Oshawa. So as you can see, bam. Girlfriend is teaching us how to catch a Pokemon. She caught herself a Purloin, and, uh... Well, she's like, what a relief. Okay, so that's some important stuff. You need to capture some Pokemon, but you gotta lower the HP first before you can actually get this. And so the next part is we gotta go to Flossessi Town in order to give our our second town map to Hugh because he's, I guess, somewhat impatient or he just wants to go ahead. I don't know. So here we are getting attacked by a Pokemon and it is a Patrat. We're gonna try and capture him. Not really. We're just gonna beat him and all that stuff. Anywho, guys. I mentioned this in the last episode. I did this uh, whole walkthrough. Okay, I started this walkthrough about four months back when my first vacation started and completely forgot about it until now. And yeah, I recorded 20 episodes of this Pokemon White 2 walkthrough, so we will have material. Um, let's see, what else? What else? What else? Yeah. I spent the vacation very well, and look at that, level 7 learns Vine Whip. I'm happy about that. Yeah, I spent my vacation very well, guys. We're going to have plenty of material for the uh, for the time being, especially with the kind of schedule that I have. The only thing I have to worry about is, well, right here, Pokemon White 2 and Heart Gold. These are all post-coms because I guess, uh, what was it? Nintendo DS games are not, or they slow down in my computer or my desktop right here. So, yeah, I know, guys. You guys you guys would probably want a, li a live comp, but, you know, I I have no problem with, uh, with post comps right here. Uh, it, ha it actually has been a while since I've actually done a post comp, but since I've been doing this game for quite some time, I mean, or since I've been doing this whole thing, uh, this whole, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, this whole uh, YouTube thing for quite some time, it's like second nature, you know. I've been doing... The majority of my videos were post-com when I was Draven XC 711 right here. A lot of it is live-com. All the DS games are, are post-com, so you guys have nothing to worry about. I am uh, I'm, uh, talented in all aspects of how to narrate and all that stuff, including shit-talking. I like shit-talking. And, well, here we go. Patrat wants to battle us again, but who who doesn't like us, uh, you know, training up our Pokemon? I mean... I want to train up my Pokemon to be the very best, like no one ever was, okay? 
And look at that, Patrak has been defeated. Yeah, buddy, okay, all right. We are liking this, okay. And, well, let's see, let's see. Well, we got ourselves another potion right here. And, let's see, what else can we get? Oh yeah, we're gonna be talking to that guy. He's, of course, saying jumping off ledges. And we're in Route 19, but here we have, oh crud, it's Alder. Now, if you guys don't remember, in Pokemon Black and White, Alder is the champion of Unova at the time, and uh, he is a free spirit. He loves walking around, loves, loves traveling. Gets defeated by N, kind of looks like Akuma, and he's looking at me, and he's like, your Snivy's a fine Pokemon, but you're not exactly the seasoned Pokemon trainer you just yet. Really, because I seem to remember have, be, having beaten you in Pokemon Black. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. So here we are in Flossessi Town. And, well, yes, it's going to start raining. And he's going to talk to us about a few things. Like, go straight to the Pokemon Center and then meet me at a house. That way we can talk some more about Pokemon, you know, and about that asterisk uh, loss that I had, you know, a few years back. So, anywho, we're going to go to the Pokemon Center. And apparently I was supposed to, uh, yeah, I was supposed to transition right here. Yeah, next time I'm going to watch all my, my episodes before I start narrating, that way I can do the transitions, okay? So we'll let this one slip right here, and well, let's go ahead and heal up our Pokemon and get the H out of here, and uh, well, here we are in a rainy situation, Flossessi Town, a pretty nice named town, and here is Alder, and yes, he's on his way, and by the way, you have two maps, and he's looking, he's like, oh, so your friend's town map. The one with the Tepic. He's at Route 20, so maybe you should go to Route 20 to go, you know, give that town map to him. We'll meet up right here. Okay, way to go. All right. So let's go ahead and find our good old buddy, Hugh, and we are going to be looking at quite a few trainers around here. Now, that is not a trainer, but that is. Now, if you guys notice some of these areas right here where there are like, they're kind of like uh, gaps or holes or something like that. Yeah, those things will fill up when winter happens. Um, you'll see later on, like in episode nine, that's when you know, that's when you know that I came back to this whole thing. Uh, we skip about what three, maybe four seasons, three seasons, I should say. Yeah. So we, I don't know when we're gonna get into the whole uh, winter situation. Hopefully, at some point during this whole walkthrough, I would like to. I mean, since we're doing this twice a week. We're more than likely gonna do that. And well, there's a critical hit, so here we go with a tackle attack. And Patra has been defeated. Yes, sir. Look at that. Ghost Vasilix growing to level eight. Yes, we are gonna be a very good trainer. An awesome trainer. A very great trainer. And uh, well, let's see. There's another trainer right there, and uh, she wants us to take a look at how cute her Pokemon is. Alright, let's go ahead and see how cute this Pokemon is. That way, you know. We can beat it. Okay, so here we go, and again, a Purloin, and we got Basilisk. Now, I do have a good team in mind, guys. In Pokemon Black and White 2, you are enabled to capture a little bit more Pokemon than what, you know, the original games would get would give you. You know, Pokemon Black and White intended for you to do just you Nova Pokemon. Here, they're going to add a crap load of Pokemon. So there is a crap load of uh, variations that you can actually have, and I am probably going to bring a few Pokemon in, a new Pokemon in, a few, you know, Pokemon that you've seen in other walkthroughs, that kind of stuff. Kind of want to keep it diverse. When I was uh, Draven XC 7 Eleven, I think I did one Pokemon from every reason, region except the last one, which would have been like a, dub, a double for Unova or whichever one, but, you know, that's what I want to say. Four, three, or three, four generations ago. So, yeah, we do have a we have a we have a chance to make this whole team a little bit more powerful. And since this is black and white too, I you know I'm gonna pick whatever Pokemon I would like to use right here. So, anywho, uh, we defeated this guy, and uh, yeah, we're still looking for a friend right here. So, uh, yeah, it's probably gonna be in the farm right there. So. We're going to stop right here, guys. In the next episode, we're going to be going into the Flossessi Ranch to give our friend uh, Hugh the map right here. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.